Dang, new tripod, new chair, like, I'm gonna need everything. 29, G5, C side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. What is good, YouTube? Welcome back, biggity, biggity, back. Oh, I kind of, I think I just found my intro. I think I just found my intro phrase on that one. Why do you? What is that? What? What is good, YouTube? Welcome, baby, baby, back to the YouTube. It's your boy Bari, and today, today, I am bringing you guys surviving PVA and me. Ta da! Um, ciao. Anyway, so today I will be bringing you guys. A video about Prairie View a &M University. For everybody who doesn't know me, I am a student at PVAMU. I finished up my freshman year recently. I thought it'd be a good idea to give you guys some pros and cons about PVAMU, aka PV, because that's what everybody that goes to Prairie View calls the school PV. Without further ado, I guess we're just gonna get right into it. I got my little list right here that you cannot see. I got five pros and five cons for y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the pros because why not start with what you wanna hear? Right? You wanna hear the good things first? You don't. Well, you're gonna hear it anyways. Actually, it's probably better to start with the cons because I'm gonna give the bad to you first. And then give you the good, so that way you'll, you'll be able to look at the good side at the end of the video. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're actually going to start with the cons. <sighs> Hold on. I got to prepare myself. I'm sorry. Because, uh-uh. First thing on the list is small campus. PV isn't necessarily a small area. It is, but it isn't at the same time. It is because the area itself, like, it's, it's big. Like, it's big. Trust is big. Once you get to Prairie View, like your first time getting to PV, your first time on campus, not really going nowhere, walking nowhere, like it's your first time, you're going to think it is a big campus. If you're new, you haven't seen um, all the buildings. And if you have, you may have seen it on Google from up here. So you might be able to tell from there, like it's not the biggest, but once you actually, you know, be on campus, walk around, go through the buildings, you're going to find out that there is not a whole lot, not a whole lot there. Like there is no big wide open like building. There's no building with like a huge middle inside it. Like it's not, it's not really not that. I mean, there's buildings that have been there for like ever like since 19 i'm not gonna say an actual date because i don't want to be wrong and feel stupid about it some of the buildings have been there since like 1900s some of those buildings are really old like they're still building new things like we have a new i think we have like one or two i think it's just one bigger like they're making a new engineering building for the engineers obviously we have a big technology program at pv but yeah <laughs> this like once you walk around enough times like for example i took i started taking like night walks with friends and just like walking around the campus on my own when i'm bored or needed like a breath of fresh air walking around it's not that big for real walking from university square to phase one and two only takes you like for my fast walkers i would say it's about 15 minutes to walk to phase one and two or university village one and two phases one and two but if you want the actual name so you can know what i'm talking about yeah walking from the square to phase one and two is about like 10 15 if you are a fast walker but if you're a slow walker it could probably literally be like 20 it i would hope it's not taking you 30 minutes to walk across this campus because i really feel bad for you that's basically like the campus like traveling across the campus so it's small but 
it's it's small. Like it is small. Like there's not a whole lot of buildings when you really look at it and when you walk around. It's just not a lot for real. Next thing on the list we have is staff and administration. Whew, this is kind of a big one. Not I'm not going to lie to you because you would think, you know, staff and administration, the people that run the school. And I am gonna talk about this. If any of staff and administration happens to watch this or parents that parents or anybody that knows staff and administration, I this is not me bashing. I I wanna make that clear. This is not me bashing staff and administration but i will say right now when it comes to pv handling business it comes to students the athletic department yeah. when it comes to that they do not always deliver I'm telling you I'm telling you i'm telling you they do not like you can reach out to them let's say about Oh, perfect example, financial aid. Now me personally, I don't necessarily deal with financial aid a lot just because I am not on it. One of the first things I heard about when coming to PV was the financial aid office and some of the other offices not getting back to people quick enough, not handling business with people uh, in a timely manner. Like, don't be mad at me. I'm not, I'm not gonna say the way they respond because they respond professionally, obviously. As far as I know, you know, other people may have different experiences, but in terms of times and how they handle business, it can, feel, it can feel like a very slow process. Like that is something you will hear about if you don't hear about, if the freshman don't hear about freshman orientation, or if you don't hear about it on Twitter or just from someone who goes there. It is not the fastest process. When it comes to contacting staff or any administration for real, even like your advisors, you need to blow them up and it's ridiculous. My twins big like Tia Tamara. Oh, Tia Tamara. Oh, Tia Tamara. I should not be having to call you multiple times of your office hours in every day of the week just to have a chance to talk to you. I remember, can't remember what it was, but I was trying to contact my advisor for something at one point in the semester. Oh, that's what it was, my alternate pin. So it was my fall semester and I needed my alternate pin to register for classes for my spring semester. When I tell you during winter break, I had to call, 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 email, my advisor multiple times just to get a reply. <laughs> my advisor didn't run, uh, get back to me, mind you. Not until I had scheduled an appointment with them. We here to drink Hennessy Casamigos. I don't know nothing about that. It took me forever to get in contact to even schedule an appointment with them just to have a simple little five, 10, maybe not even 15 minute conversation on the phone with her just to get my pin to register for my classes. It, it took like, it had to take a week at least, a week at least. It, it takes so much to contact these people sometimes. And it's ridiculous because you, you would think as a college campus and HBCU, I know y'all people wanna have this, have this stuff done if they still turn in, like, when we having time to play, we already got business to handle. Ain't y'all ain't, ain't playing. Can't do that. Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, like, it really, I would say it really doesn't matter who, which department you're trying to reach out to. You're going to need to, I'm not going to say you're going to blow them up. I would say you definitely need to be on top of trying to be in contact with them because off a of first email, off a of first phone call, you may not even get a chance to speak with them. That is going to be very frustrating. I'm letting you know that right now. Next con we have on the list is the organization of events. When it comes to like the, the career oriented events, typical college events, those are pretty much well organized because it is by actual like administration the administration isn't completely horrible like they still can get their their work 
done and handled. I mean, it came with students and parents off of like online. Mm -mm. I'm talking about, again, let me specify. I am not bashing anybody in this video. No lie. It's the honest opinion about my school, from my experience and others, but my experience when it comes to CAB, which is this activities board. Yeah. When it comes to CAB, most of the events organized by CAB and some other organizations that I cannot remember at the moment, a lot of the events are not necessarily the best organized. A lot of the events are held in the Memorial Student Center on campus. Insert picture here. The events are held in the uh, Memorial Student Center Auditorium, the MSC Auditorium. There's always gonna be some type of events, especially in, during the fall semester. There's always gonna be events held there, big events held there that a lot of the students and some parents come to watch. They do not always start on time. Actually, I can't recall, I can't necessarily recall a time that they actually just started on time. Like if they say six o'clock, it will not start at six. There would be people still either just getting into the auditorium or they're simply like just not even opening the doors to the auditorium yet to let people in. There's probably issues going on within the auditorium, you know, with it, with like setting up and making sure everything's right. Everybody's like where they need to be. That's probably, that's understandable. But at the same time, you know, you have a set time of an event starting. You could at least try your best to be on time and prepare earlier if you need to. People have li literally, an event will start at six. We'll have people waiting in line as early as five o'clock. The line will be out of the MSC sometimes. The event isn't even close to starting. Like some sometimes you literally have to leave almost an hour and a half, maybe even two hours early sometimes, depending on the event that it is. Cause like I'm saying right now, if it's a freshman step show, if it's a if it's like a freshman anything, those events tend to be big because not only is it freshmen that are coming to watch you also have the other classifications coming to watch and parents and whoever may be coming to watch the events. The line will be out of the MSC sometimes. If I could insert a picture, I would. I probably don't have a clip, but it's, it's it'd be ridiculous. Like it would be out the MSC. If it's not out the MSC, it's towards the front door. Either way, it's going to be a long line. If you do not get there at a specific time, or early enough time, you're nine times out of 10, not gonna be at the front of the line. You're gonna be near like the middle or the back. And you, <laughs> you know people with lines, you have people cutting, and then you have people at the time of the event that starts. Once they open them doors, you'll have people who push. I don't get the, the, the point of pushing in a line to get in. Like I understand there's limited space in the auditorium and that's another thing. That's another thing. The auditorium has limited space. Everywhere's gonna have limited space when it comes to, you know, an inside event. I understand that, but like they organize events there and they really, I feel like they should have a better way of handling the amount of people that they know are probably gonna, I'm sure they have some estimate of the amount of people that are going to be at an event. It should really be their job to try and like accommodate for that. And they do have like a little, QR thing like we use an app to for some of the events to you know get in the app is called cork and we use cork as like a little thing to RSVP for events as far as I know there is no limit to where the RSVP stops so people can just literally keep RSVP there's not going to be as much space as <laughs> as the amount of people that RSVP'd in the in the in the auditorium. For this to keep happening every time, it's literally a race to see who gets in. Between the people cutting, going to the front, pushing, it just, it don't work out sometimes. And it's very annoying for the people that don't even get to get in, that have been waiting in line for hour or hours, or just a long time, just standing there in line to not even get in or watch the event. 
because not like they have it on a live stream or anything. No, it's in person in the auditorium. Catch it or you don't. And even when it comes to paying, it's the same thing. Like, still gonna be a long line. The organization is not, it needs to be taken care of. It's a problem. It's a problem, we all know it's a problem. Uh, yeah. Next con is housing. Oh, housing, housing, housing. Do we love it? We don't. For me, I don't have housing for this upcoming semester. Let me explain my situation real quick. What happened was we signed up for, we applied for housing. I applied for University Village phases three and six. I got phase six, right? I did not know that there was me and many people, not just me, there's many people who did not know about the, there is a seven day time period for you to sign the lease. If you're not signed the lease, they basically take your lease away which they did, they took my lease away. Through this time, so through this time of me doing that, like me getting phase three, me getting phase six, I had tried to sign it, first of all. Apparently I had gotten an email and I didn't know about this until like literally weeks later. Like this is me like literally during like spring break or something, checking my lease. To my surprise, it was literally gone. Like seven days, so you still sign it within seven days and to basically lock it in, I guess. But if you didn't do that, for the people that did not do that, they lost their lease and we have yet to get housing back. What separates you from the competition? What makes you special? What competition? It's an issue because uh -huh, there's not that many places. You got the UC, which is for freshmen. Then you got, so really you can take the UC out because if you're a freshman, you either get into, you either get into university college or getting into University Square. Other than that, you got the Square, the University View, which takes in mostly juniors and seniors. You got University Village Phase 1 and 2. And then, I guess, I think University Village Phases 3 and 6 was new this year, but don't quote me on that. Phase 3 and 6 are newer um, apartments or whatever, housing, buildings, whatever. That's like, what, four places I just named? on campus, that's four places on campus that you can get into. Now, I want you to think that for the people that already have clicked on this video knowing about PV, I want you to think about the amount of people that constantly say, oh, I'm a good PV, I'm a good PV. We're full, <laughs> we don't have space for y'all. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, we can barely get into our housing. So, you know, apart from on-campus housing, there's off-campus housing. But the thing is, with off-campus housing, not everybody got a car. Not every college student has a car. Not everybody has a car. Not everybody can go skirt skirt uh, to their to they little class on campus from their off-campus apartment. It's different between on-campus and off-campus. Off-campus, you pay rent, I think, monthly. Like, you make a deposit monthly. For on-campus, you make your initial deposit, you kind of go from there. I mean, you, you like, you have utility bills. That's, that's the difference between on-campus and off-campus housing, but some of the off-campus housing can also fill up because you have off-campus filling up so fast. Like you literally have to be on top of it. Like you also cannot wait to just fill out housing. You need to fill out housing the moment you get the opportunity to fill out housing or else you better, better pray. Did you pray today? Did you pray today? Because other than that, I don't know how you're going to get in. You're going to be very much staying off campus, or you're just not going to be going, or you're going to be doing school online if you really want to go to PP that bad. But at that point, if you're not even staying on campus or off campus, or you ain't got no house close to you or a family member or a friend that you can stay with close to PV, you might as well not go to PV if you want that, if you want the actual PV experience. The last con I have on this list is... PV is a walking campus. On this list, I do have, you know, walk, it's a walking campus as a con. It, it's it's not a complete con, but I'm not, I'm not gonna give you pros about being able to walk on campus. I mean, no. What's the benefits of walking? Losing weight is healthy. You get vitamin D from the sun. It's nature, you know, it's a pretty, you get to enjoy the environment and it's soothing. Yeah, okay, 
that's literally the benefits of walking around. So the average time it takes you to get to a building, I really don't wanna say a specific building because it's really any building, unless a building is, you know, obviously right next to another one. I lived in the square this past, uh, this past fresh, my, my freshman year, I lived in the square. Walking from the square to, let's say the library, it's about 10 minutes. Everywhere you walk, every building you probably have to walk to is going to be 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> if you typically a person who likes to get up for class like 10 minutes before, you're gonna be late. Everywhere it takes on average 10 to 15 minutes to get there. Unless you are literally like by the place you need to walk to, it's gonna take you like five minutes if you're close to the place you need to walk to. Everywhere else, it's 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, like it's, it's literally just gonna be 10 to 15 minutes, I'm sorry. So with that being said, I recommend to everybody, I recommend you get a scooter if you if you can, you know, afford a good a good one. Get a scooter. You will see people with scooters on this campus. Like it's literally going to become a norm for you. And you're gonna probably say something about every time you see someone on a scooter if you don't have a scooter. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Because like dang, well. They get into their destination within five minutes, whereas it's taking me 10 to 15. So, you know, and you get used to it after a while, but when you come back from like a break or something, that walk is definitely gonna be, it's definitely gonna feel very fresh and new. And, you know, 10 to 15 minutes can feel very long depending on the weather. Like if it's hot, it's gonna, you're gonna dread it sometimes. It's, it's just, it is what it is, I'm sorry. Yeah, so. How y'all feeling about the cons? Y'all good? All right, now let's get into the pros, which I've been waiting for, right? Turn it up. Getting into the pros. First on the list, um, I, I wanna know what y'all think it is. What y'all think the first pro is gonna be? First pro is parties. Parents watching this may say, that's not a pro. It is, it is. So like I said before with the con, there's not a lot. There's not a lot on campus to do. So, you know, when it's the weekend, you know, you already know. They host parties on campus, uh, on on campus. They're not actually, they, mm, so it's like, they're not on, on campus. Like they're not gonna be like, oh, let's walk outside. It's gonna be a party. No, you gonna have to, it's a, it's walking distance from the, from, from campus. And when I say walking distance, no, I don't mean 30. It's it's walking distance, y'all. Like, don't complain too much about the walking. Like, the walking is, is worth it. The parties are probably what has given PV such an impression of it's a party school. It's, y'all, like, it's not even a party school for real. Like, it, it's not a party school for real. Like, it just happens to have good big parties like that's literally all it is they have good parties parties tend to have a lot of people especially when it comes around homecoming and spring fest we tend to have parties like every weekend i would say if not every other weekend and they're mostly on the weekends like for the people that say that parties like get in the way of like their school life that's true but at the same time when it comes to just the weekend, if you know you have schoolwork to do, if you know you have schoolwork, homework that you need to do, assignment that you need to do, a quiz that you need to take, a test that you need to take, and you wait till the last minute to do it, and it just happens to be a Friday night where there's a party and you happen to go and you at the party trying to finish tests, you can do that. But, you know, um, not everybody will be at a party trying to finish up tests. So it's like finishing your work in before, like beforehand, parties don't, shouldn't really get in the way. But that being said, parties are a pro because they're fun. They are lit. Like the parties at PV are lit as well. I'm telling you, you will have a good time going to a PV party. Point blank, period. Like, period! The people that haven't party yet, like I was one of the people that hadn't really been to a party at all and now went to PV. I had to kind of grow into parties. Like, initially, parties were not like, oh, uh, 
Like, when you get there, you may not be like that, you know, especially not everybody's going to have the same experience at a party. People are going to experience different stuff. You should be able to enjoy a party after, like, if you, after your first, like, two, three parties, maybe four. I would say do not just go to one party and judge based off of that if parties are for you or not, or if you like PV parties or not. You cannot go based off of one party. I would say, I'm not going to say like, oh, make it a mission to go to multiple parties, but don't just give it one try. At least like two or three times, go to a party, go to at least like two or three parties and then see, you know, if they are for you or not. But parties at PV are really big. People come from multiple colleges. They sell our party ticket, our party pre-sales at multiple schools. That's how big the parties are and that's how good they honestly are. Like, Sorry, PVU is the place to be. Yeah, <laughs> there's a reason why they say that, y'all. Come on now, like, come on. PVU is the place to be. Next, people. Um, I'm gonna say people slash social life. This is probably like the main thing that keeps people at PV apart from, you know, the, the education part. If you take away the education portion, it's literally just the people. Like, the people are... No, I'm not okay. Let me. The people are great, okay, for the most part. You are gonna have some people here and there who are kind of stuck up, got attitude problems, fake. You know, that's life. That's just life. You will literally like enjoy yourself. The people are so good. Like I've met so many great people. Out of the people that I've met at PV, I have yet to really cut anybody off, have scuffles, arguments, like none of that. It, well. Like I said, there's going to be people every now and then who who may um, rub you the wrong way. Even if you get mad, even if you yes, get offended. Man. So, what you going to do? Because I guarantee you, you can't beat me up. But, like, the people are great. People have positive energy. You know, people be dressing up all the time. People be looking good. Like, PV is not just the talk of the talk for no reason. Like, people look good at PV also. Like, there are good looking people here. There are good looking people here, here. There are good looking people at PV. They're nice, positive energy. I'm sorry, the social aspect is great. Like if you are not a social person, try and break out your shell a little bit. Like break out your shell, make it a mission to kind of break out your shell. Even if it's just like you with one friend at first, that friend may have other friends and then y'all might like click. Like, you will find yourself naturally just having friends if you even if you're just in an organization, like if you just join an organization, you're going to find people that are like you or that you have similar interests with or that you just have, that you just click with. It's going to happen. The people there are like engaged. So the people that keep to themselves, like y'all can still make friends. Like y'all will still have opportunities to make friends. Next pro is the events. Now I know, I know. Bernie, you just really just like went in on the events. I went on the organizing portion of the events, all right? Talking about the events itself. You got the all the freshman events. So oh, speaking of freshmen, Panther Camp. Go to Panther Camp. Get up, talk to people, engage, have fun. I literally made friends during Panther Camp and I'm still friends with them. Like to this day, I'm still friends with some of the friends, with most of, with all my friends that I met at Panther Camp. It was a little bit competitive, not gonna lie, but go to Panther Camp. Go to Panther Camp. Trust me. I know you have doubts. I know you don't want to really do it because you don't feel like it's needed. Just go. Anyways, the events. Troll offs. <laughs> Step offs. events for mental health. You got career fairs, career fairs on campus. Make sure you also go to that. Not all the events are just pure entertainment. They do have events that are educational. They have events that help with career growth, all that. Like there's always gonna be something, even if it's a seminar, like 
there are going to be events. What was it called? It's not career fair. It's uh, I can't come up with the name, but they got they are fairs too. Like there's a lot of stuff there. They have job fairs too. It brings me to the next pro also, which is opportunities. The opportunities you can get at PV colleges in general, really. The career fairs. Please go to the career fair. Like put your best suit on. Well, okay. Maybe not your best suit, but put put your put your business professional attire on what you have. So uh, make sure you come with make sure you come to PV with some type of professional attire, at least like one or two fits. Professional attires. So like maybe like one tie or two ties, suit, pants for the ladies, you know, y'all I don't know. Y'all business business and professional attire, like in casual business casual stuff because you will need that for like career fairs and stuff it's just gonna give you a better look it's gonna put you out there just do it trust me like trust me i'm letting y'all know from personal experience because i did not do everything correctly my freshman year like i'm laying on right now i did not have a perfect freshman year i had a rough first semester i had a way better second semester i'm still pulling it together but yeah like just listen to me like Listen to me, please. There's going to be businesses, companies that are come to PV just to get people opportunities, to get people internships, jobs. And it's not even just with them. Like, you'll meet people at PV that you, you're you gonna get connections. If you, if you interact and you talk to people, ask questions, find out what you're curious about, whatever you're curious about, nine times out of 10, you're gonna find somebody who has a connection or that knows somebody, that knows somebody, that knows somebody, like it is genuinely just going to help you out. And it's in the long run, it's gonna you're gonna be grateful that you were granted with so many opportunities. Like it's I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I am telling y'all. Last thing on this list of the pros and just all together, I have the environment. Even just speaking about the campus, like literally, like the the campus is beautiful when the sun is out, the skies be blue, the clouds, like it be so nice. Like, I can't tell you how many pictures of just trees, field, and maybe a building in the background. It looks amazing, like, for real. Fine beauty in the campus. Once y'all see that fountain too, like the fountain, it may not be the biggest fountain ever, um, but once you walk past that fountain every day, um, just watch out for the mist water. Um, I don't know if you want that touching your face because fountain water, like what? Anyways, it's beautiful. Campus is beautiful. Like, honestly, that's why I be literally just walking out my room sometimes, walking out my door sometimes when I need to clear my mind or I'm just listening to music, walking from somewhere in the morning. Any time of the day, really, like, if it's sunny outside, even when it's cloudy a little bit, like, the campus still can, still looks really good. But the environment of just the people being around there and you know the hbcu experience like being at hbcu is truly a it's truly like a growing experience especially coming from the area i was like in high school and just growing up going from more diverse area to an hbcu i was able to like really just go through development and be around my just being around my people my people yeah i mean i i'm i'm, I'm laughing but i'm being for real like being around people my skin tone my skin colors and people that like are like me have gone through similar experiences like me it's truly like great it changed me for the better I don't know, I went to PV or probably just the HBCU in general. I probably, I would for sure be different. I and you, and you, yeah, you, you really will enjoy yourself. Like, you enjoy yourself. But it is what you make it. Yeah, that's really all I gotta say. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give a big ol' like. Bing! Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, you know. Follow for more content. Um, as you can see, uh, this is not the only type of content that I do. I also post vlogs. I will also be having other content coming out. Um, hopefully on a weekly basis. I'm gonna try and keep 
a little weekly thing going uploading so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next banger peace aside from my trust in you